Hello, Stuart here with Larpbook, and I'm with Marcus and Dean for Fettered Forge. Hello, Stuart. Hello there, how are you doing, all right? I'm doing well, thank mm, you. Wow. How are you doing today? Yeah, superb. No, pretty good, actually. It's not a bad day, it's not raining yet. Yet, yeah, <laughs> but it has been raining quite a lot. However, no, the weather has brightened up, and it is rather nice place yeah, exactly. to have a lap exactly it is it's, it's a beautiful location fair play mm. um so tell us a little bit about fettered forge and how you started it and so fettered forge it started off as uh, me dean and a friend of ours we started blacksmithing as a hobby yeah yeah and we're still doing that as a hobby and we're sort of building towards the stage where we can take it as a company and self-employed okay yeah um so we've done this at weekends and time off yeah, in yeah. our backyards and we've had fettered forge as a group sort of for about a year now okay right yeah and this is the second event that we've attended yeah. as fettered forge right um and we're just trying to get more established and get a name out of there for ourselves before yeah. we start and become a, a full company and go self-employed. Yeah, no problem. I mean, the, 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 the sheer kit that you've got here is amazing. Uh, that bellows looks particularly old. Yes, yeah, we, we estimated that about 270 years old, roughly, <laughs> give or take. Um, and we, we purchased them uh, last year on eBay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oddly enough, you can get anything on eBay these days. It would seem. <laughs> uh, and we restored them to working order, made a portable frame for them. Yeah. Um, made the forge itself okay, yeah. by hand and anvil and got everything sorted and set up so we could actually come and demonstrate our yeah, 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 no problem. And it, too, it is lovely to see at this sort of event, yes. this type of kit. You yeah. know, uh, so you can literally do repairs. You can yeah. do commissions for people. You know, people go like, "Oh, I really need a, a whatever." Exactly. And like, could you repair this bit of armor for me because right. the rivets come out. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. And or could you do a cloak pin? Type yeah. Thing? It's, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you're on hand, and you can you can do it. I mean, you know. Yeah. It's, it's really nice, and it's nice to be able to see the players sort of getting interested in it. Yeah. Yeah. And. We really like the fact that it gives something to the system as well. Exactly. I mean, the the atmospherics alone are, yeah. are superb. And I've also been told that it does soup particularly quickly. Yes, we've just had dinner, um, and we <laughs> <laughs> we basically we we have a, a trivet, it's like yeah, a, a yeah. stand that we stick on top of the forge. Yeah. Cast iron pot, chuck some soup in. It only took about thirty seconds to cook. Usually, <laughs> <laughs> when we beat earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there you go, top tip, if you want to cook your soup really quickly at a LARP, uh, buy a bellows and a forge. Yep. <laughs> None of this waiting around for no. 20 minutes with your little gas cooker exactly. thing. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go old school. Exactly. Get it right. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. You know, uh, You've got a Facebook page coming soon. And yes. yeah, when yeah. you do, we'll get that information out there as well. That'd All right? be marvellous. So thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. <laughs> the, the sexy one at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have been watching, thank you very much. Do not forget to click the subscribe and to hit that little bell to see when more things come out. So for now, it's goodbye from me. You should start the three of us at the forward.